since the pandemic, it's been very extremely, extremely hard to try and make uh, any money on the streets. Like many industries in the city, the taxi industry has been hurting because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now the CEO of Co-op Cabs, along with others, are urging the city to step in as more than 90% of their fleet has sat idle because of COVID-19. And this has resulted in a massive amount of lost revenue. So we are an industry that right now on the ropes. Uh, that are about to disappear. So we're asking the city council and, and all level of government to, uh, to step in and assist uh, the industry. Uh, one of the things we're asking is uh, the license renewal fees for the taxi cabs, as well as the driver to be the waived this year and, and reduced moving forward. The, the licensing, the problem with the licensing is that like, if you look at before licensing, you know, when, when the, plates were worth $300,000, we're paying $1,300. Now that the plates have gone down to $5,000, they, they're asking practically the same amount of money. Along with licensing, Toronto taxi drivers are also looking for relief as their insurance has skyrocketed. We have to purchase uh, commercial insurance, fully commercial insurance for the taxi in order to transport people from point A to point B. And you know, transporting people are basically the, the, the most valuable commodity. So, and, 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 and there's not, you know, adequate insurance right now for the taxi industry. The only thing that's available to us uh, to insure our vehicle are facility. And facility prices are high risk, last resort insurance, which basically cost about $16,000 average per cap. The insurance part is uh, very, very hard. We're paying uh, um, sometimes uh, triple or um, four times more the insurance rate that we're paying. I was paying last year for forty five hundred dollars. I my renewals come will be pink coming up, and uh, I'll be paying close to fifteen, sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars. The motion was deferred in September by council for supporting taxi operators from COVID-related financial hardships. City councillors were discussing ways to help the taxi industry today. A decision is expected by Wednesday. Brandon Rose, City News.